Hi, everyone, first of all. <laughs> How do you connect? Just think about it. How do you connect with other people? I'm going to tell you about my experience in connecting. I grew up in Latin America, a place with a lot of social and environmental challenges, but also a place where people dance. This is me, always in the dance floor. Since I was little, I developed a love for dancing, which helped me connect with people, even though we didn't necessarily speak the same language. Why? Because we connected through music and movement. I developed this love and I decided to do a research on it. So just think about the song that you love. Natural chemicals, endorphin, dopamine, turning down your brain like a well vaccine. I decided to dive deeper into the topic of why dancing not only made me feel so good, but why it was such a great connector. Together with experts in communication and dancing, I researched the connection between partners in dancing. And we found out tricky elements. We found out that through music, people exchange emotions, sensations, and thoughts. And in so doing, we create an environment of trust. Would you like to experience trust? Let me show you how. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand. <laughs> we will do this two times, so don't worry if it doesn't work the first time. Just enjoy the process. Place your left hand in the shoulder of, your, of the person on your left. When I count to three, the first person in your row, standing for, starting from your left, will start a wave movement. Once you feel the movement in your hand, you will start yours. So ready? Yay! Just breathe and flow. One, two, three. Just to take a break, there you are. Now let's do it with rhythm. One, two, three. Very good. That was perfect. Thank you very much. Please sit down. Please notice the chain of reaction that we already created. What we all experience is what I normally experience with new dancing partners. That is, for me, an example of building trust. But what is trust? By trusting, we put our confidence, faith, and hope in someone or something. Just like we all did only a few seconds ago. But what is happening with our trust nowadays? So we need trust to live in a society from different sides, from big institutions, governments, businesses, but also between us. So if we try to understand what's going on with trust about like nowadays, I did research on it and I found that Edelman is a peer company that conducts a very interesting survey every year. The aim is to assess trust. For general population, the level of trust in these institutions is low. Overall, less than 50%, as you can see in the graphic. But the most important is coming. Here, you can see the level of trust between people. We can see that credibility to trust in someone like yourself is low and decreasing year to year. So we are all talking about saving the world, achieving the SDGs and Kumbaya. But how can we do this if we lack transparency and trust between each other? I 
I would like you to take a moment to just think about the way you are building trust with others. Trust is very crucial in the way we develop businesses too. One of the biggest things is when you are trying to send money to another country, right? Let me tell you my example. This is Mikey, he's my little brother, and he lives in Mexico. And he would like to continue studying, but he needs financial support, like every little brother. I live in Switzerland, and I would like to support Mikey to continue studying. Remittances, the biggest flow of capital from the developed countries to the developing world. In order to do that, I use a bank transfer. So I coordinate a transaction with my bank, and this takes between 12 to 24 hours to actually verify it, and of course, fees for me. Then the bank sends the money directly to the bank in Mexico, and it takes another 12 to 24 hours to verify it, and fees for him. And at the end of the story, each bank needs to do a reconciliation that will involve further administrative fees for both. This is expensive and slow. But what if I told you that we can do this reducing cost and time? What if you can trust in each other and transact globally without the need of third parties? Sounds interesting, right? What if I told you that there is technology that can help us doing this in a more easiest way. What if I told you that the basic of a technology is to actually foster transparency and build this trust? What if I told you this is blockchain technology? In a nutshell, blockchain is a distributed database existing in multiple computers at the same time. However, I'm not going to bother you with this <laughs> explanation. So. In a nutshell, if you want to know more about blockchain, you can definitely look at on the TEDx website. These guys did an amazing job by really explaining how the technology works and providing specific examples. So later you can go to TEDx website, type blockchain, and you will find them there. So I'm not going to focus on how blockchain works, but will rather demonstrate why it is useful and how we can support people all over the world in the achievement of the sustainable development goals. Okay? Sounds more interesting, right? <laughs> this is how we do transactions right now. My team is exploring a way to do this in a more efficient way. This is with how we do normally an, uh, an investment nowadays. Using blockchain, we can allow everyone involved in a transaction to know with certainty what happened, when it happened, and be all connected at the same time, understanding the investment, without middlemen verifying the different points. The future of innovation and technology is for all of us. We need to do the best to find a way that can support the future of our businesses. But now focus back to why this is so important to you. So I'm dedicating my life to promote, support, and engage with entrepreneurs all over the world. And I always receive these questions. When I'm in an emerging markets, they tell me, but why you are you doing this? How can I help? What can I do? I think that when the vision is not clear, the path is difficult to walk. These are the Sustainable Development Goals. And it's the first time that 193 countries sign an agreement to work in our global challenges. It's an opportunity to reduce our footprint and focus in the things that matter most for the future of us. The United Nations says that it will take five to seven trillion dollars to achieve the SDGs by 2030.
clearly, financing is needed. But how can you contribute? What can you do for doing this? The Sustainable Development Goals is a way to all be part of the problem and also find solutions to, in the, in the future, help each other to grow. We are looking for a democratization of investments. So you can invest, you can invest, and my grandma can invest. Looking for solutions that can help our world to be a better place. In my team, we are developing new solutions using blockchain for impact investing. In the near future, we will be able to asset different investments in one single account. So we can easily invest in a green mine in South Africa, in a tech startup in India, maybe a farm in Asia, and a hedge fund in Latin America. Until now, this is not possible because all those investments need to be administrated separately. Using blockchain, we can allow ourselves to invest directly in all of them. So I would like to take you into this journey. If you would like to be part of it and you would like to understand much better, please take a chance to see how you can contribute to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals. Using these type of technologies, we can have a lot of benefits, but there are mainly three that we can always use. Transparency, by having a direct relationship between investors and investees. Cost efficiency, reducing the number of middlemen. Less middlemen, less fees. And liquidity, markets that are open 24-7, 365 days a year, creating more trading volumes and liquidity to secondary markets. The reality is that digitalization and connectivity like blockchain will be the key to the development of the next generations. The key is to embrace the change. So yes, we should remind all connected between each other and having this trust in a very human side, like in dancing. But the one thing to keep in mind is that blockchain can be used as a tool that will enable democratization of investments to achieve the SDGs. Imagine the power of foundations, charities, international organizations, impact investors, and you all working together for a digital economy for good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Enrique.